If you've ever wanted to own your own dinosaur, this may be a once in a lifetime opportunity. Able Auctions is auctioning off over 50 life-size animatronic dinosaurs, as well as scores of authentic fossils. We've been invited to do a behind the scenes sneak peek. Let's go and explore. Able Auctions is in the process of assembling an army of animatronic dinosaurs. These were once part of a traveling exhibition which toured museums, science centers, zoos, and amusement parks across North America. One of the highlights of this collection is the full life-size Tyrannosaurus Rex, which stands over 20 feet tall. I can't believe the size of this guy. Look at how high he is. He's as tall as me. His head alone is as tall as I am. He's gigantic. The head attaches onto this midsection and will stand on top of these metallic legs. And then covered with the thick foam rubber outer skin. Mr. T. Tons of these life-size dinosaurs everywhere I look. Apparently they're going to get them uh, set up and working for the preview day that's coming up. This dyno has been left open so we can see the inner workings, which are custom mechanical technology and a dynamic jointing system which allows the dinos to move smoothly and in realistic orbits that vary in speed. Gives you a pretty good idea of how these are put together with the metal frame, number of internal motors. Quite a bit of attention to detail. The eyes actually have lids To reflect current science, there are some feathered animatronic dinosaurs, like this juvenile T-Rex, and all of these were crafted by hand. These smaller dinos are all crated up individually with control box and signage ready to go. If you have a favorite species of dinosaur, there's a good chance they've got it. I found everything from Triceratops to Brachiosaurus, Spinosaurus, Dilophosaurus, or the ever popular Velociraptors. And over here behind glass, there's a bunch of authentic dinosaur fossils that are also going up for auction. Not sure if that's a Velociraptor claw. Got a bunch of eggs from different types of dinosaurs. Over here we've got a Spinosaurus tooth. And down here, coprolite, or the scientific term is poop. Yeah, I found some baby dinos hatching down here. Looks like they've recreated that one a few times. That'd be perfect to hang on my wall in the office. Some tiny desktop dinosaurs, as well as a life-size murder hornet. Some Shunosaurus phalanges. Over here's an Omisaurus bony tail club. So I'm guessing that's the bone from the dinosaur's tail that would be used to either attack or defend itself from other dinosaurs. These look to be authentic Triceratops horns. And I think we know what that is. These are fossilized teeth from Mosasaur and a Spinosaur. This is a perfect photo opportunity. There are some interactive activities like this one, which shows how much you'd weigh compared to various different dinosaurs. And the little ones can also practice being a paleontologist by searching for bones at these dinosaur dig tables.
Mixed in, there's also some giant insects like this hickory horn devil. Abel's still in the process of getting things set up. There's even more that has yet to be unpacked, including a 60-foot Brontosaurus animatronic. These will be ready for the preview, which is on August 5th. And the auction's going to be held online starting at 9.30 a.m. on August 6th. So if you want to own one of these dinos, now's your chance. You can go to ableauctions.ca and get in on the auction. Remember to hit subscribe so you can stay up to date on all our latest adventures and check out our interactive map to see other cool animatronics and museums that we've already been to. Until next time, it's time to exit through the gift shop.